Hello and welcome back to Educator.com, this course on music history. We made it to the Renaissance. Congratulations. We made it. All right, so the Renaissance. Um, basically, for our purposes as a time period, we're talking 1400 to 1600, and we're just going to jump in by talking about the Mass. Okay, everybody, field trip time. I you didn't know we were going to go on a field trip, huh? Let's go to church. Well, in case you haven't caught on on my, my sort of spiels here and my lectures, the Catholic Church plays an incredibly vital role in the development of Western classical music. It's basically the center of it. And masses have been around for, well, a very long time. Um, and there are really two main types of masses, the mass ordinary and the mass proper. As you can see here in this picture, we have some people celebrating mass. For our purposes, we are talking about um, the mass ordinary. And the reason why is this is the ordinary, the, the ones that were repeated every week. And for that, we have the Kyrie, the Gloria, the Credo, the Sanctus, the Benedictus, and the Agnus Dei. And the Mass proper, it's not that that wasn't important, but that was um, typically a daily thing that changed based on um, the calendar. And so that was only at the, at the monasteries or the convents that people would actually look at different parts of the proper. But the ordinary, that's what comes every time and you know it's coming and so composers like looking at the ordinary because they could kind of unify them and that's exactly what they did they unified the movements and they made the mass an actual composition 